What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Another week of no haircuts. Another week, more importantly, of working on the Honda Prelude. Now, if you don't know what's going on with this car, then uh, you're probably not subscribed, so you should go ahead and do that right away. And you should also go look on my channel, see some past videos, uh, so that you can uh, refresh yourself and get caught up with what we're doing here. But today, we are continuing the front suspension mock-up. Last video, I was talking about how I got the uh, Mustang subframe and uh, I just put it underneath just to see how it looks and then I can start brainstorming from there to get an idea of what I needed to do next. So what I'm going to be starting with today is uh, figuring out the distance between the struts. Um, I've already contacted a few of my buddies and I'm getting some varying uh, answers as to what the distance is from center to center of each strut. Uh, and I only asked that so that I can get a comparison as to where the original struts were and uh, if the distance was the same as it was for the Mustang and the Honda, then all I would have to really work on is changing the bolt pattern of how the struts actually mount underneath. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be trying to figure out right now. Uh, what I plan on doing is taking the original struts from the Prelude, putting them back in, and then measuring from that, and then comparing it to the measurements that I've got from my buddies online. All right, now these are the struts from the Mustang, and these are the ones from the Honda Prelude. All right, firstly, what I'm going to do is just try to get some of this stuff out of the way so that I can uh, work on the struts and underneath the wheel wells. All right, like I just said, I'm going to be taking the original struts from the Prelude, putting them back in just so that I can measure from the center of this one to the other one, and then I'm going to compare it to what the Fox body measurements were. All right, well, I just got both of the original Prelude struts back in and I took a measurement from the center of each of them and uh, it ended up being 36 right on the money. I, I might be 36 and like an eighth, but it's about three feet. And I've, from my buddies that have the Mustangs, all their numbers are like 36 and five eighths. I even got a guy that said 38 uh, and then 37 and a half. So all the measurements that I've got from buddies who have Fox bodies, their numbers are actually wider. So the fact that mine's gonna be more narrow, I think I'm just gonna try putting the Mustang struts in where the existing strut towers are for the Prelude. Uh, that way, I'm gonna have a little bit of camber on the front wheels, I think, but I just gotta see how much because I don't want too much. I just If it's a little bit, I'd be okay with that. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna take the original struts back out and then we're gonna drill the new holes for the new bolt pattern of the Mustang struts and then we're gonna drop them in and then see how they work and maybe they might fit right onto the subframe. So we'll see. All right, now what I've done a little bit ahead of time here is uh, I've made a template of uh, what the new bolt pattern is for the struts off of the Mustang. And uh, I got this idea from uh, my buddy actually, he's got a channel as well on YouTube. Normally I just use cardboard or like anything that I can find, but uh, he was uh, mentioning using like cereal box cardboard or just like any like flat paper like this that you would get from like frozen foods or whatever. So this is uh, like some uh, burgers that we had. So that's what I ended up using and it actually works amazing. So I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like. Okay, so what I did was I took this piece, I cut it out and uh, first I started with this big hole here in the center, which is the same size as the one already here. And then I took that over to the Mustang strut and then I matched it to the new bolt pattern like this. I gotta flip it around the burger side, but if I just shove this here, should go right over. 
And yeah, as you can see, it's pretty center. And uh, this is not a <laughs> made promotion by uh, this burger company. That's pretty funny. I just realized that now. But yeah, so what I can do now is I can take this, bring it back over to the car, and I got to flip it over to this side. Now notice how there's a offset. There's two bolts on the top here and one bolt on the bottom. And the way it works for the Fox body, uh, if I, I got to look back at my pictures before I go ahead with this, but uh, a buddy of mine sent it. On the driver's side, apparently the two holes were facing the front of the car, and then on the passenger side, it was the opposite. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be marking the holes on both sides, drilling them out, and then we're gonna be able to take the struts from the Mustang and put them in place. Okay, there are my new holes right here. So uh, they're not the greatest. I'm gonna clean them up a little bit, uh, but what this is gonna let me do is uh, actually put the strut in from underneath. All right, so I think that's pretty good uh, for a temporary fitment. Um, of course, when my buddy gets me a plate, it's gonna look a lot better. I'm gonna have to probably flatten this out a little bit. Um, but that's all I need for now. Let's go over to the other side and do the opposite. Okay, so I got both of the struts just bolted in right now. So the next thing right now is to take the actual subframe and uh, try to raise it a little bit and uh, to actually try to bolt the strut to the subframe. <laughs> all right well guess what it worked the struts are in they are bolted into the old strut towers and they're bolted into the subframe so we know we're at least headed in the right direction i am super excited i had my suspicions that this wasn't going to work i'm always one to uh question you know i try to be optimistic but like there's just no way like i'm thinking to myself i'm taking a subframe from a mustang putting it in a honda it can't be this easy but it is i'm getting very lucky but still got to figure out how to bolt the subframe up to the frame for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about that needs to bolt up into here this needs to bolt up into here right now i just have the shocks hooked up that's what the struts are but that's going to be able to tell me how the wheels are going to look when they go back on um, but holy moly, but for real, I am super excited. Anyways, let's put the wheels on and see how it looks. All right. Well, the wheels are on. There is a little bit of camber. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but 
Hey, you know what? That's normal. I am excited. I can't believe it. Now imagine this, guys. You're looking at what I'm doing here. You've seen that I just got the struts all figured out. I'm very close to getting the subframe figured out. And then we got this sitting on four wheels again and enough room for a V8 to fit in it now. And looking at it and thinking, wow, what a waste of time. I actually had someone, and there's actually a few people that are asking me, why are you doing this? It's a shame that there's not much Honda that's gonna be left in this project. This is a waste of time. You could have just bought a Mustang. <laughs> Listen, I'm happy, clearly. This is working. This was all in my head. It's coming to real life. This is what I wanted. Every week I'm getting closer and closer to getting this on the road. I just can't wait until this thing is driving. That's gonna be a great day. I'll just have to settle with the progress that I'm doing now, which is amazing. I'm still getting a lot done week to week. I couldn't be any more pleased right now. Hopefully everything goes as smooth as it's going so far. Cause if it does, this is gonna be uh, a lot easier uh, than I expected. Anyways guys, stay tuned. Next week we're gonna be trying to get the subframe bolted in hopefully, or at least get a little bit closer to figuring out how we're gonna do that. And then we're either gonna be working on the rear end because we're gonna to need to know where the rear diff is gonna be in order to figure out how we're gonna mock up the engine and transmission exactly because we want everything to line up properly. Anyways, who knows what's gonna happen. You will, because you're gonna subscribe. You're gonna find out what's happening next week. Anyways guys, stay tuned. We'll see you next time.